here welcome to another interesting tutorial if you're new here you're highly welcome kindly click on the subscribe button like my videos share with your friends and make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video today we'll be learning how to draft a reversible bomber jacket pattern okay so the first thing to do is to form a block all right i've already gone ahead to form my block the length of my blouse is going to be about 26 inches but i will be subtracting two inches because of the fabric that will be used at the hem of the dress so i'll be left with about 24 inches so the length of this block is 24 inches and the width of my block is my biggest measurement which is my hip measurement divided by two plus four inches so the width of my block is about 23 inches so after that i went ahead to divide my block into two equal halves the first part of it is my front panel and the back part of, and the second part of it is my back panel all right so this first line here will be my center front line and this line here will be my center back line line and this line here will be my shoulder line all right so the next thing that we are going to do now is to impute our horizontal measurement i'm going to impute my bust um my shoulder to bust measurement and my shoulder to waist measurement so i've gone ahead to impute my horizontal line i've gotten my shoulder to bust line and shoulder to waist line for the front panel and i've gotten my shoulder to bust line and my shoulder to waist line on my back panel if you want to learn more about this i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice pattern you can go and watch that out so that you'll be able to understand this video more all right so i'll go ahead now and impute my neck measurement the neckline that i'll be using for this class is the standard neckline measurement which is three inches by three inches for the front panel and three inches by one inch for the back panel and i'll go ahead and mark that out after doing that i'll go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement that i'll be using for this class is 16 inches divided by two will give me eight inches i'll go ahead and mark it for both my front panel and my back panel after doing that the next thing i'll do is to come to this shoulder point here i will come down by 1.5 inches for my front panel i'll come down by one inch for my back panel and mark after doing that i will connect those points to my neckline all right after that the next thing that we are going to do now is to get our armhole depth the to get your armhole depth you use your bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. In my own case, my bust circumference is 35 inches divided by 6 plus 1.5 will give me 7.3 inches. And I'll go ahead and mark my 7.3 inches on my back panel. So after that, after getting my... Um, armhole depth i went ahead and extended the line to my um front panel like so and after that i connected this point here to my shoulder slant line all right so after that i did it i i made a little mistake here so please disregard this line here the next thing to do now is to go to my armhole depth measurement for the back panel and divide the figure there into two and mark after marking the half of my back armhole depth i will take the same measurement and mark on my front armhole depth like so after that the next thing i'm going to do now is to come to this point and measure 0.75 inch inwards like so i'll go to my back panel and measure 0.5 inwards like so after 
after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to form my armhole curve using my curve ruler, like so. And I'll go to the back and do the same thing for my back panel. After getting my arm hole for both my front panel and my back panel, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go to my hip line and impute my hip circumference measurement. The hip circumference measurement that I'll be using is 39 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.75 inches and I'll be adding 0.75 inch is allowance to give me 10.5 inches and I'll go ahead and mark like so. After that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and take the same measurement on my waistline and on my chest line for both my front panel and my back panel. Okay, after marking that out, the next thing I'm going to do now is to add my seam allowance. But before I add my seam allowances, I'll go ahead and add my zipper allowance to my front panel. Remember, our jacket usually has a zipper on the front part of it. So I'll be adding half inch zipper allowance to my front panel. So after adding my half inch zipper allowance, I went ahead and leveled it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add half inch seam allowance on my, sh on my neckline, my shoulder line, my armhole line, my side seam line for both my front panel and my back panel. So after adding half inch seam allowance around my pattern for both the front panel and the back panel, the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out my pattern. So as you can see, I'm done cutting out my pattern. The next thing I'm going to do now is to level it. Well, before leveling my pattern, you can see that I did not add any seam allowance on the hemline. This is because my pattern paper is not long enough, but I will be adding half inch seam allowance on my fabric. When I'm cutting on my fabric, I'll be adding half inch seam allowance to it. So I'll go ahead and level my pattern. This is my this is my front panel and I'm going to cut times two of this because and I'm going to cut times two of this because I'm going to insert a zipper on the center front line all right so I'll cut two of these on my fabric and two of these on my lining here is my center back and I'm going to put this arrow to show that I'm going to cut this place on fold. All right. So I will cut my back panel on fold. And so I'll be cutting one of these on my fabric and one of these on my lining. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to set my front and back pattern aside and then grab a fresh pattern paper. So on this fresh pattern paper, I've ruled a straight line, which is where I'll be starting my measurements from, all right? So here now we'll be drafting the hem part of our bomber jacket. 
If you check the picture on the thumbnail, you find out that there is a different color of fabric on the hem part of our dress. Sort of like make the dress to smoke onto the body around the hip line. So for this hem part of our dress, we'll be mixing Ankara fabric to our black fabric. Alright, so the, next, the first thing I'm going to do now is to measure the hem part of my pattern for both the front and back. All right. Excluding this zipper allowance and excluding my um, seam allowance, I will be measuring from this point to this. I will be measuring from this point to this point on my front panel, and then from this point, excluding my seam allowance to this point on my back panel. So after measuring, what I got was about twenty-one inches. All right. So because we'll be using a stretchy fabric on this part. I'll be subtracting 5 inches from this measurement, which will now leave me with 16 inches. So I'll go ahead and measure my 16 inches. So after marking out my 2 inches now, the next thing I'm going to do is to determine how many inches I'll be using for the Ankara part. The Ankara is placed at the center front towards the zipper side. So in that case, I'll be using 3 inches for my Ankara Part. So I'll go ahead and mark 3 inches like so. So this side is going to be my Ankara part, while this side is going to be my band or where I'll be putting my stretchy fabric. Alright, so after that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and add seam allowance to this pattern. This side will be unfold. I'll mark it. I'll label it unfold. And this side too will be unfold. I'll go ahead and level. So I will not be adding any seam allowance around this area and around this area. So the only part I'll be adding seam allowance is on top of this place and then on this side. So after adding my seam allowances, I went ahead to cut out my pattern. I've already leveled here on fold and this side on fold and then I will level here stretchy fabric. And I will be cutting this one piece. Remember, it's on fold, so I'll be cutting one of these. And this one, I will be leveling it here on fold. Here will be cut on fold. And I will level this one, Ankara. And I will be cutting two of these. Guys, please make sure you level your pattern so that you don't misplace it. Alright, so after leveling my pattern, the next thing I'm going to do is to set it aside and pick a fresh pattern paper for my neckline band. So now that I've gotten a fresh pattern paper, I will go ahead and mark my starting line, like so. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pick my front and back bodies and then measure the neckline i'll be measuring on the actual line for my back bodies i got 3.5 inches for my back bodies i got 3.5 inches and for my front bodies I got um, 5 inches so 3.5 plus 5 inches will give me about 8.5 inches so because I'll be using a stretchy fabric for my neckline band I'll be subtracting 1.5 inches from my measurement leaving me with about 6 or sorry 7 inches and I'll go ahead and mark my 7 inches out so after marking my 7 inches out, the next thing I'm going to do is to determine my 
band length. For this class, I'll be using um, one inch band for this dress, all right? So I'll go ahead and mark out my one inch, like so. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to label my pattern. Here is going to be unfold. And here too is going to be unfold. And I'm going to add seam allowance to this part and seam allowance to the upper part. All right, but before I go ahead and add my seam allowance, I will come to this point here and measure about 1.5 inches from this line. I'll measure 1.5 inches from this line and use my free hand to, to curve it out like so. I'll curve this point out like so with my free hand. So, when I'm satisfied with what I've gotten here, I'll go ahead and add my seam allowance and cut out my pattern. So, after adding my half inch seam allowance to it, I went ahead and cut out and labeled it neck band all right so the next thing that we are going to do now is to place this aside and then pick our front panel all right so the next thing i'm going to do on this front panel now is to get my world pocket placement all right guys my camera stopped recording and i didn't notice it on time all right so but I will go ahead and explain how I got my weld pocket um, placement on this pattern. Alright, so the weld pocket length that I wanted to make is 5.5 um, inches. So in order to get that, so I just went ahead and manipulated this pattern in such a way that at the end of the day, the placement or the width of my weld pocket will be 5.5 um, inches. All right. So the first thing I did was to come to the hemline and measure 9 inches upwards. So after that, after getting that point, I came to the center front line, excluding the zipper allowance, I measured 4 inches inwards and I marked. So after that, I came to my hemline again on this part and I measured 4.75 inches upwards. And then I marked. After that, I came to my side seam line, excluding my half inch seam allowance. I measured three inches inwards, like so, and then I marked. So at the end of the day, I got my 5.5 inches uh, pocket depth. All right. So I will be transferring this line on my fabric after cutting out. So guys, we've come to the end of today's class. The part two of this class is going to be the sewing tutorial. There, I will be uploading how to sew our bomber jacket. All right? So it should be the next video I will be uploading after this one. All right, guys, I want to correct something on this pattern. Please disregard the difference between our front waist length and our back waist length. That's because it's not needed in this class, okay? Please don't get yourself confused, all right? So if you like what I do here, kindly subscribe to my channel, like my video, share with your friends, and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye, guys. See you in our next class.